Welcome back to another Halloween tutorial part of my 31 days of Halloween. We're doing a peacock this time around and we're just starting out with the brows. I decided to fill my brows in with just a blonde natural color from MAC and then I'm going to be using these four colors from the Jaclyn Hill palette to do my eyebrows all colorful. <laughs> so I'm starting out with the purple on the outside and then I'm moving to the blue on the inner part of the brow. You know, kind of like a colorful ombre brow. And then gonna shape it out and I'm using the, I think I used the Tarte Shape Tape to shape out my brows. And then I put on some eye primer and then use some shape tape on my eyeballs. And then we're going into some colors. So I went into like an aqua green first and then I jumped into the Kylie palette. I used this yellow. I despised the way that it came out. So I kind of edited it with some blue and then I put some white over it to kind of like change the transition color. But I wanted to show you guys that because there are so many mistakes that I made or changes that I made in this whole video. And I wanted you guys to just see that. I then took a purple and some blue and blended that into the um, crease and the outer corner. I'm then cutting, doing like a half cut crease with the NYX Lid Lingerie in Bad to the Bone. And then I'm using this beautiful lavender shimmery color from NYX on top. And then these two Stila glitters on top of that. It came out so beautiful. I then took some makeup remover to create this crazy cut crease. You guys know I don't really do stuff like this, so this took forever. Um, I used some concealer on top to make it super opaque, popped on some lashes and mascara, and now we're going to move on to this face. I primed my face, and then I am using the Natural Finish Foundation from Cover FX, concealing with the shape tape because it's literally the only concealer I use. <laughs> and then I'm using these Aura Drops from Urban Decay. I use these kind of with my foundation, on top of my foundation, all over, and then I set, and then realized that I needed to go back into some shadows, so I used these shadow shields to block any fallout, and then put some purple on the top and bottom of my eyes. I'm using this NYX White Faux Eyeliner in like a lavender color in my waterline, putting some mascara on and some of that glitter from Stila in the inner corners, and now we're moving on to the face. I'm using this Juvia's Palette, Juvia's Place Palette, oh my god, tongue twister, to just kind of contour my whole face. I sped this up for you guys because this is one of my classic looks. You guys see me do this all the time. So I contoured my face with some colored shadows, and then I actually used these colored hairsprays that I just got at the party store um, on my chest and in my hair. I'm then making my own glitter concoction with blue, purple, and green glitters and some hair gel from Tresemme. I'm just putting that all in my hair, and then I found these awesome things right here. How sick are these. They're from a company called Bright, and I found them at Ulta. I'm just using the purple and the green one all over my face it kind of gave me like a solid color and made the glitter look really awesome guys what's a peacock without feathers so i actually bought all these feathers they didn't stay as well as i wanted them to because i did take my hair out a little bit later on um but they stayed pretty good and they truly made the look and here's a mistake I made again, you guys. I put too many jewels on. I didn't really like the way it looked, so I just kept the three in the center. And then we did not forget about highlight. Don't worry, we're taking Forever Lit from the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. And for lips, I thought that this Urban Decay lip was a liquid lip, and it's not. It's a gloss. But I added, I kept with it, and I added the Jouer Jeffree Star on top. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed. This look took me forever. Oh my god. If you liked this look and you want to see more Halloween tutorials and you don't want to miss out, make sure to subscribe right here. And then if you missed any of my previous Halloween tutorials, they are all right here. There is over a hundred to look through. But thanks guys so much for tuning into this peacock look. Hello. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.